Hey everybody, this video brings me and Mike back out to Fenty's Flea Market. And of course, the reason why we are at Fenty's Flea Market is the same reason that we're always at Fenty's Flea Market to get some hot dogs, right? No. Actually, I'm kind of hungry. I'm probably gonna get a hot dog, but the reason why we are here is to check out, of course, the video game, Movie Dome. I know I have some stuff on hold for me. Pam's been like picking up all kinds of stuff for the last couple of weeks for me. Do you have stuff on hold? No. Nothing? I don't think, I don't think so. The last couple of I'm weeks sure you'll find a monster probably. movie or a shark movie or a yeah. dinosaur movie. You're gonna find something, I, I guarantee it. I have some stuff to trade in. I got movies and the last of my Funko Pops, I'm trading in. I'm just, I, I asked Pam, do you take Funko Pops or trade in? She's like, yeah, sure. So Funko Pops are, are getting traded in as well. I now have no more, well, I got a couple of Pops accounts, but for the most part, I have no more Funko Pops at all. They're all gone now. Anyway, so let's go in. Let's see what we can find. Like I said, I got something whole for me. Didn't they say they were going to a landfill? I swear. <laughs> Pam can put these in a landfill if she wants to put them in a landfill as long as she gives me store credit for them. I don't care what she does with them. Yep. But yeah, apparently Funko's dropping off a whole lot of pops. You know why? It's because... They make too many. They, well, it's because they keep doing things like, oh, we're going to do Joe from Seoul. Oh, okay, cool, right? Mm -hmm. But then they're like, okay, we're gonna do a neon Joe from Seoul. Yes, we're gonna do a yeah. crystal Joe, Joe, Joe from, from Seoul. Yeah, a flock version. I was like, like, we don't need 75 versions of, of Joe from Seoul. Like, if anybody wants Joe from Seoul, this will, this, will, this will do. This one, anyway, we don't need to get on a rant about Funko and how they saturated the market, screwed everything up. Anyway, all right, let's go in. <laughs> let's do what moves you can find. Darn you, Funko. Pamela! Listen to my voice cracking, Pamela! <laughs> it's too early in the morning for, for screaming Pamela. Anyway, so again, back at the video game movie dome, tons and tons and tons of movies to look through. Anything new in? Yeah, Do, sure oh, that, that, uh, this, bo right this box right here of all, all Blu-rays? Yeah. The box below it too or just the box on top? Um, it's mixed now, so. We got a whole box of, uh, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing Meg. You had that, right? Oh, oh, he might, he might need it, or he might need slip cover. Anyway, there's a ton of Blu-rays to go through here. So, all right, well, I've got some digging ahead of me. I'm again, Pam has stuff on hold for me. I'm sure she's got all kinds of new, interesting stuff in the case down here, and the case over there. We're gonna, we're gonna be diving into a lot of stuff. What? What? More game? Oh, Pam just said she got more Game Boy games in. Are that just? I don't know. All right, well. Now I guess I'm gonna have to go through all the, the Game Boy games. I don't know what here I might possibly, do I need that Castlevania? I don't, I don't know. All right, well, I'm about to get my list. Th thankfully, my Game Boy list is up to date so I know exactly what Game Boy games I need. All right, well, today's gonna get expensive. I hope I get a lot of credit for those, those pops or, or it's gonna get very expensive. Hey, look who decided to join us. John is here as well with his bad back. You, you're, you're right there, man? Yeah. No? Any, leave comments down below. How can John fix his, his bad yeah. back? I'm like... <laughs> anyway, so I did end up going through the box of Blu-rays down here. Only ended up finding one title I wanted to pick up, and that is The Waterboy, which I, of course, already have on, on DVD. But why not do some upgrading? How's that? I want to go and play some foosball. <laughs> anyway, I, like, I love this movie. I haven't watched it in a long time. I have Medulla it on DVD. What, what was that? Medulla <laughs> just, we're just going to stay here and just quote The Waterboy still, all day long? Just a little bit. All right, fair enough. Anyway, great movie. Have it on DVD, but I figured, you know, why not upgrade to, uh, to Blu-ray? Because that's my thing I'm doing this year. I'm, I'm doing some Blu-ray. It's a Blu-ray upgrade. You need me to just, like, push in your, your back there? Yeah. Give, give, you a, give you a massage? Just, in the, just punch right about just, here. Just in the butt area? Yeah, yeah, all right, punch. fair enough. And with that, my store credit's probably gone because Pamela just pulled down everything that I had on hold. And apparently, it's a lot of stuff. I did not realize that over the last couple of weeks, she has gotten in this much stuff for me. So, all right, Black Snake Moan, which, um, I, who put this out? I don't know how I own this. I, I, for some reason, it's on my wish list. I don't know if I have it on, like, HD DVD or, or something. I... I need this, so all right, grab, grabbing that. Necessary Roughness, I have this in a multi-feature set, so I need that. Jacob the Liar, also something I have in a multi-feature set. Russia, Land of the Sars, some history channel that I don't have. This is awesome. This is the Bogey and, um, is it McCall? Am I saying her name right? The Signature Collection. So um, that's pretty awesome. I don't have any, well, wait a minute, hold on. I might actually have um, The Big Sleep, I think. The other movies I don't have. So I'm trying to get all these different signature collection releases. I don't have that one yet, so I'm going to grab that. The Story of Gods with Morgan Freeman, season one. I don't know. This is awesome. Chuck Jones, Extremes and um, In-Betweens, A Life of Animation. This is really, really cool. I don't know why 
I don't own this yet. That is awesome. So definitely wanted that. Smart History Channel here with Histories Mysteries, Vikings, Fury from the North, Foot Soldiers, the um, Barbarians, the Unexplained Sacred Societies, In Search of Ancient Ireland, In Search of the the Celts. A Kel wow, you got a lot of Irish. Stuff. It was just St. Patrick's right. Day. I couldn't. I couldn't have planned this out better if I tried. A um, Celtic journey through time. Every time I see that, though, I want to say Celtic. I met a woman once at a. At a it was at. Um, was it? Uh, what was the old pawn shop? Cash cash converters. Yes. It's at cash converters, and she went on and on and on about how much she likes Celtic music. Oh. She kept going. I love Celtic music. Celtic, Celtic, Celtic music. I mean, I, I want to just go. You mean. Cel Celtic music? But anyway, so every time I see the word Celtic now, I know, weird story that nobody cares about. But every time I see Celtic now, or Celtic now, I think Celtic. Anyway, so Histories, Mysteries, uh, the true story of the Philadelphia Experiment, nice. Foot Soldiers, the Vikings, and a History of Britain, the complete collection. That is awesome. Samar, History Channel. That is a lot of stuff. Oh, and, and again, the Water Boy. And that, I, I've gone through one box. I still have to go through the through the case down there. I got to go through the other case. You got new Game Boy games in. Yep. It's going to be an expensive day. All right. So I'm already finding something in the case I need to pick up. And that is the complete third season of Westworld. According to my lists, I have season one, two, and four. I don't know why I don't have season three. I, I thought the artwork did not look familiar. So, um, all right. I need, I need that for $15. I haven't actually, did you guys watch the show yet? Anybody watch Westworld? The first season. Was it good? I like the my my wife watched the show. She said she really liked it. I haven't I haven't watched it. Yet. I like the movie, the the with the old Brenner, Westworld. That's that's good. Does he does he make a cameo or anything in the movie? Wait, is he is he? You no, know, he's dead, isn't he? Is he old Brenner? I was gonna say, is he even alive? I don't even know if he's alive or not. Okay, so unless his ghost makes a cameo, do they have any reference to Yul Brenner? No, I feel like there's got to be references to the movie, right? And then there was the the movie Future World, which was the sequel. Yeah, Are there... I haven't seen that. Comments down below. How many like Yul Brenner slash movie slash sequel movie references are there in Westworld? There's got to be some, right? There has to be. Yul Brenner's dead, right? He's dead. I think so. <laughs> All right. So I'm um, just out of curiosity. I thought, yeah, let me look up to see if Yul Brenner is uh, alive or dead. You know, he's been dead since 80, 85. 1985 is when Yul Brenner passed away. So I'm pretty sure he probably doesn't make a cameo in, in Westworld unless they did some exhuming of bodies. I, okay. Yeah, I was... I was way, I was way off, way off. 1985. Rest in peace. So I guess maybe this is a good thing. I don't know. I'm going through the case over here now in the the first of the second nooks over here, and I'm not really finding anything I need. I want to say all the all the good stuff she has in here. I mean, this is this is all good stuff. That's why it's in a case. But all the good stuff she has in here that I would want, I already have nothing I actually need. So I'm I want to say. I'm gonna be able to pass on all of this, which I mean is, again, g good and bad. It's, it's bad because I wanna buy more stuff, but it's good because I'm already buying enough as it is, and I still haven't even gone through the Game Boy games yet. All right, so I'm over here going through the Game Boy games now, and I'm definitely seeing something I, um, I want. It's a little costly though, but it's, it's something I really, really want, and that is this right here, The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. I don't actually own this yet, $90. Yeah, this game is, this game's an expensive game. There's a reason why I don't own this game yet. That's because every time I come across it anywhere, it's always pretty darn expensive. I, I mean, I, I have sort of credit. I could use it towards this, but then I would have to maybe put some movies back or, or just buy the movies out of pocket or keep them on hold until later or something. I don't know. I, I, don't, know, I don't know what to do. Maybe I should see how much my, my pile is going to come out to and then decide... We'll, we'll put that on the. We'll put that aside for right now. That is a ninety-dollar game. I really want that though. I, I I need that game. I want that game. That is definitely a Game Boy game on my wish list. That's a that's a Grail right there. We'll we'll see. Okay, so here's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm I'm getting all of this, my entire pile right here. This takes up most of my my credit, but I'm also going to grab these two Game Boy games. So I am picking up the um, Spider-Man, the uh, Mysterio's Menace, and I am grabbing the. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. That's um, that's me now dipping into my pocket a little bit. Not too much, but dipping into my pocket a little bit. And then Pam goes, oh yeah, by the way, I just got in all these criterions. <sighs> you're killing me, Smalls. That's what that's what you're doing here. So I I actually need um, a couple of these. I need uh, the Eris. I need the Lady Eve. I need the Asphalt Jungle. I need Naked City. These I already have. Lady Vanishes and uh, Night in the City. I don't need those, but... I, I do 
need these. So what I'm, I'm probably gonna do is have these just put on hold for me. I have a, I got a bunch of movies I'm gonna have very soon for, for store credit. So I'm gonna put those on hold and I think I'm gonna put the um, the Dukes of Hazard Game Boy Color game on hold. And uh, this, I know, don't make too much fun of me, but the Dora the Explorer double pack, what's it, P Pirate Pig's Treasure and Superstar Adventures. It's a Game Boy game I don't have, so. I'm already dipping into future store credit now. So, all right, that's that's what I'm doing because I would love to get them all right now and pick them up all today and walk out of here today. But I'm, thanks to this stupid thing right here, I'm, I'm spending enough as it is. Okay, so I think I'm done looking around. I see that now, but I'll probably find 14 more things in the next like two minutes I want to pick right. up. But Mike's grabbing a couple things here. What, what, are you, what are you picking up here? Journey 2. Nice. Yeah, wow, Island. brand new factory sealed steelbook. Steel book, yep. That's cool. And the King Kong. That's such an set. awesome set. Yeah, I had that in my King own Kong, collection. King Kong and yeah. Young. What's really cool is the uh, the King Kong there because it's the double the double disc mm -hmm. version. I I have King Kong the, the the original King Kong on Blu-ray in my collection, but I had to keep that as well. This set as well, not only because I I want of course Sonic Kong and Mighty Joe Young, but because the special features on that alone. Yeah. I mean, it, it makes mm -hmm. having that completely yeah. worth it. It's fantastic. Some really good documentaries on there. So all right, cool, awesome, oh. awesome pickups. Oh. Strong grabbing. What happened to Vader's hand? What? Oh, I mean, Luke, Luke finally got his revenge, uh, yeah, yeah, right? True to that's, Luke. that's how, yeah. Empty handed though. You buying anything? <laughs> no. no. Uh, yeah. Well, just when I thought John wasn't picking anything up, he actually didn't end up finding something he wanted to pick up. One of the worst movies ever made, Dumb and Dumber 2. What? I mean, I, why, why do I own that I'm movie? I, I, I don't even know. Okay, I can't give you a hard time. The, I own the movie it. as well, but it's, it's a terrible film. You know what's actually better? Dumb and Dumber Er, like the, the prequel movie that didn't even star right. them. Mm -hmm. It's it's such a better movie than Dumb and Dumber Two, which is again one of the worst ones I've ever seen. But I own it. Now you own it. Do you do you own it? I don't, but I do like does, it. Does, does Pam own it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Dumb and Dumber. So three of us are 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 dumb and we also have Cable Guy and Dumber. What? Well, Cable Guy's a fantastic movie. That's, that's Jim Carrey's like best movie. Oh, I've hated. Fantastic film. Cable Guy. Cable Com Guy. Comments down below. Yeah. I like it better. What's, what's your favorite Jim Carrey movie? I'm going to go with Cable Guy. Yeah. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the video game movie dome. I'm pretty happy. I'm picking up a, a whole boatload of stuff here. Finally getting that, that Minish Cap. That's awesome. I'm spending some money, but it's, it's worth it because I'm grabbing a lot of cool stuff. And I have some more stuff on hold. So next time I bring in stuff for store credit, that's probably going to be mostly all gone. You're picking up stuff. You're, yep. you're grabbing one of the worst movies ever made. So awesome. More power to you. It's a wonderful movie. Parlay? <laughs> is that your Johnny? Yeah, that, yeah. Hey. Hey. Uh, what, what, what's... Did you say your Johnny Depp Sorry, impersonation? Awesome <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah. Anyway, that's, your impersonation is almost okay, as sorry, bad as Dumb and Dumber 2. Almost oh, as bad. Yeah, so, sure. all right, guys. So with that, we are done. So as always, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon, right. Spreadshirt, the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest of Daily Adventures. And check down below for a link to... Sharks and Monsters fan on Instagram. And check down below for a link to... Some of the bowls. And I'll put links to all of Pamela's stuff down below as well. As I'm always... You, you're losing some air there. As I'm always saying, Pam can find anything you pretty much want. If you want something, hit her up. She will try to find it for you. And if she can find it for you and you don't live in the area, $5 flat rate shipping. Again, whether you order one thing, one million things, $5, hit her up. She'll, she'll find you something. What? Dog foot long. Yeah. Yeah, my brain went right there. Yep. Yep. Exactly. He said it before I did. <laughs> I'll see you guys next video. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. All right. Bye.